Hello everybody and welcome back to Keep It Real, episode number 50. I'm kind of hoping, episode, <laughs> seems mad saying it, episode number 50 is going to be the first time we plant an arable field. <laughs> 50 episodes, let's actually plant a field. You know, probably 70% of what the game's about, planting arable fields, and we're doing it now. Amazing. It's also good because I think we can probably give the man a bit of usage in this episode. Just because that cedar that we bought the last episode, which was a bargain, only requires a really low horsepower. So yeah, hopefully we can get the man going. Now, we'll just do the usual beginning of every episode. Make sure things are looking good. They're doing alright for a minute. Yep. And it's got 451 litres of tomatoes actually. So that will spawn another little pallet of tomatoes at some point which is good check on the milk situation and the food so they've still got food which is good wow 1727 litres of milk though these are really these are really producing us some milk now and then we'll just have a quick check in on the ducks and I'm also pretty pretty confident there's quite a few pallets of apples up there now I've seen them out the window out the bedroom window Right, let's check on these. So, 775 litres. They don't hold a lot of food anyway, but let's just keep that topped up. Yeah. I don't want to live in uh, false belief that there's loads of food there, because actually this pallet is going down relatively quickly. But, I mean, the great news is that field we bought in the last episode. Yeah, it's it's already got wheat planted in it. That's, that's pretty damn handy. That's uh, duck food. Ready to go, almost. Now it's just checking on eggs as well. This is this is quite exciting now because 304. This is quite exciting. What? How much has that gone up by? I reckon that's gone up by another 70 or 80 eggs since the beginning of the last episode. Good. It's, it's earning us money. This uh, passive income is certainly worth. Oh, I forgot I left that there. Certainly worth getting in early, wasn't it? So we also now have 2,000 liters of apples. Amazing. While I'm in the zone, how much are the apples and when is the best time? I don't know how many times I've checked the price of these in this series. It'd be quite funny to know, really. Um, oh, you will also notice actually here that I've added on the seed add on. I didn't bother before because I never. I never had any intention of doing anything other than grass. So, But now that we're starting to kind of go into to different types and different fields, I thought, let's do the seed add-on. Let's keep that realism going. Right, so, one thigh, it's not that far off its best price now, is it? No. So there's a couple of grand's worth of apples there. And we'll have to take a trip down at some point to the, I can't say the newest plot anymore, the, the second to last newest plot <laughs> and see how many grapes and olives we've got down there because that does seem to be producing stuff pretty fast as well. Now, let's not muck around. Just realise that I do it between every episode just to try and to make sure I can save it properly. But I keep lowering the times. Throw that back up to times 10. We'll get into the man. It's been a little while since we've used it. And we'll go and pick up the cedar and yeah, for definite... We'll seed the, the field which we ploughed. And then, yeah, I don't know. We'll have a look at hiring a potato seeder or a planter. And see if we're going to get on with that for this episode as well. But, yeah, end of the last episode. Made me kind of consider my options. That that car is just no good. I really like it. But it's just no good. Not Not for what we want. Mainly because you can't put anything in the boot, which is kind of ruined my whole plans with it to be honest but that that truck appeared right at the end in the shop and it's a bit expensive I'm, I'm not I'm not kind of earning enough money to justify spending 22 grand on a truck but it gave me some ideas around maybe getting something like that so I found a couple of extra mods and one of them it kind of looks a bit like a Mercedes kind of truck almost it's really really cheap it's really cheap it's like 14 grand so i'll show you it in the shop at some point but i think that's probably the way to go the only downside is you've got to then buy the the attachments for it if you want to put a flatbed on the back you actually have to buy that but if it's got a decent top speed on it then 
that that would be our little commuter, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'll work quite well, I think. Anyway, right, let's head on to the shop. Make sure no traffic is coming. Good. So I hope everyone is doing well. Anyway, I'm I'm starting to find a bit more time again now to try and get a few episodes out and. Yeah, that, that kind of, although the transition thing is non-existent now and I don't like it, being able to pause and restart and cutting down on so much editing really is giving me a bit more time to get on with these episodes. So the the benefit is at least hopefully there's going to be a bit more coming out again. When I was uh, When I was consistent and I had the time, you know, I was doing three, maybe four episodes in the week as one as a role play and it's hard going. But I would like to get back to that as well, actually. Now, we'll jump in here. We'll have a look in the used shop, of course. See if anything else has appeared in the meantime. Probably not. But that truck was here. That I really, really like that. And I really like the idea of that. I don't know what that random thing is underneath it. But I do like the idea of that. But yeah, 22 grand is just too much to spend at this point in time. Oh, and you can see I've activated some other ones as well. Look, so there's another one that's already appeared in the shop. Again, I like that. How cool is that? I think that would suit this series quite well. But, I mean, it's even more. It's 30, nearly 36,000. Yeah. So the idea of it is there. Looks amazing. But we won't be buying that one either. Definitely not. Now, just before I jump in and buy the seeds, which we need, the, the oat seeds, this is what I was talking about. Look. Kind of, uh, kind of looks like a Mercedes Benz truck, doesn't it? Hundred percent. Just, uh, it's got a, a big logo of a lizard in the front of it instead. But this is only fourteen thousand seven hundred, and that's new, by the way. So yeah, um, doesn't have the most amazing engine, but then actually it's not charging more for it anyway, is it? So one hundred and thirty-six horsepower fake Mercedes Benz for fourteen thousand seven hundred. And its top speed is the same as the car, 68. Probably take a while to get there. but So that that's how we're going to go. When we've got the money, it won't be this episode. The priority this episode is to do these fields. But certainly, maybe in the next episode, maybe after we've paid all of our bills in April, we can start to kind of sell some bits off and, and buy that. Now anyway, where's this seed add-on? Here we go. Big bag. Uh, what do they hold? I don't want to buy that much, if I'm honest with you. Surely I can buy small bags of seed, can I? Can I not? I'm sure when I downloaded the mod it said you could. Maybe they're not in there. Maybe they're under, mm, I don't know, pallets? So... Right, come on, where is it? Where is it? Seeds, no, it's not that. I mean, I'm sure the mod was just called Seed Add-on Pack. So, ah, there we go. Look, it's all there at the bottom. So, I want to buy, hopefully, individual bags of... I know you can get them. Okay, it doesn't look like you can get them individually, but that's the way to go, isn't it? So, we'll buy a big bag of oat seeds, which is 800 to get 1,000 litres. We ain't going to need that. Definitely not. But any leftover, maybe we can reuse again. We can do the same harvest. So, we're going to have to get that either way, aren't we? Definitely only one bag. I'm sure we won't need more than one bag. So we'll purchase that. Good. Brilliant. And hopefully we'll have no issues with that particular cedar. And actually working with that seed add-on. Because from what I can gather, not every single cedar does work with that mod. So we'll soon find out. I'm taking a risk. I didn't trial it first. I didn't give it a go. Now... While I'm here, I haven't actually done this the last few times. It's pretty bad, really. So let's um, let's go for record. So the the actual record is seven, isn't it? Right. Come on, straight on. Bolt it. Two. Dear. Three. Shocking. I wonder if I'll ever get a strike. I wonder if I will ever get them all down. It seems like quite a difficult task, actually. If I'm honest, I'm not going to lie. Right, here we go. So we're going to have to, assuming this cedar does actually work with the, the individual add-ons, but we're going to have to kind of 
magically do it again, I guess. These are the limitations to the game, aren't they? I can't... As much as I want to make it realistic, there are limitations. I can't help certain things. But yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking maybe a, like a shop-owned forklift truck. Not a telehandler, just a, a cheap, rubbishy old forklift truck is the way to go. Now, is this going to work with this mod? We'll soon find out. So the answer to that was no. <laughs> so it doesn't. That's a shame, isn't it? That is a shame. Right, stick the cover back on that. So yeah, that, that bag of seed, well the bag of oat seed over there, we kind of wasted £800 on now. But I'm sure I can do something to get that back. It's just limitations of the mod. I can't help it, can I? Eventually, maybe we keep the oat seeds actually, and eventually I'll get a different seeder, one that is compatible with the seed add-on mod, because that just seems a given, doesn't it? Trying to do a series a bit like this. That seems an obvious realistic mod to use. But there you go. Right. We'll just uh, we'll just pretend that these were oat seeds that we bought. Uh, in actual fact, while I remember, let's change it to oat. There we go. Because I will forget and plant the wrong thing. The reason I'm going for oats, by the way, is you can plant them now and harvest them pretty quickly. In the next like three months, you can harvest them, which means then I will be able to get a different crop in and maximise how much we're going to earn just for this first year. And although grain was important because I wanted to, you know, self self-produce, be self-sufficient, having grain for the ducks was quite important, but that other field's got wheat in it, isn't it? So it's just made me reconsider. So here, look. We'll plant the oats now. And they should be ready to harvest in July or August. But then in August and September, we can plant canola. Now, canola, of course, has a really, really good uh, yield. Well, the, the yield is quite good. But the price it sells at is really, really good. And, and we need it. We need to make the money. But also, what it's going to allow me to do is just buy and place down a few little random beehives. Because they'll obviously increase the yield. The, 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 the bees will kind of pollinate the canola and you'll get much more. But also then it gives us an extra little thing, you know, some honey. And I just think realistically it would look cool, wouldn't it? To have maybe a beehive in each corner of this field. Just so that the bees are sort of evenly distributed and uh, maximising canola. So that, that's kind of what I would like to do. I think that would be pretty cool. Right, anyway, let's test this first time. I haven't turned it on yet. Let's turn it on. Lovely. And yeah, the man's doing this, no problem. I am missing a little bit, of course, but... Right, what we will just do... We'll get down here a little bit further. I don't know how it's going to cope with this bit. Oh, it coped all right, actually. It's not a bad little cedar. Right, let me just jump into this menu. I don't normally like to do this, because it's not realistic. But let's just make sure it is working. Good. Yep, that's all I'm going to do. Right, so we will do this. We'll do this visually. Because we can't load up a mini-map with this kind of old school equipment. But, yeah, we're, we're planting our first field. How amazing. 50 episodes. Our first actual arable field. I should say arable field. We're not planting our first field because we have done some grass, haven't we? Yeah, this is good though. Because this is not a direct drill, once we've done this task, we can go over to the grass field and we can just kind of pop some seed down in the areas where we destroyed the field as well, which is going to be good. I'm hoping that's going to work out. Anyway, I've not actually tried it, but I I would imagine it would be fine. Now, we're going to get quite a bit of wheel slip. That's fine, because the cedar is behind us. So as long as I don't start going over where we've already been, we shouldn't really damage too much of our crop at which we are planting let's just double check that shall I yeah it's looking very very good wonderful now normally this would be something you'd cut into a time lapse with wouldn't it but again with my my efforts to minimize the editing and also not wanting to go straight into a time lapse right at the beginning of the episode I'll just see if I can think of something to talk about and I'm sure I can because I do quite often have rubbish to talk about Nice, there we go. Maybe one more headland just around the outside and then we'll start going up and down. 
but I do need to make sure I don't kind of wheel slip too much and damage the areas which I've already planted. So going up and down might actually turn out to be a bit of a pain to be honest with you. But this is going alright. This is not doing too bad. So I hope everyone's well in the meantime anyway. I hope uh, everyone is doing good. It's nice to get back into a little bit more consistent kind of creation I guess really. But I am sat here now looking out of my window in the dining room to this lovely weather and thinking today would be a, a good day for a bit of golf and I am quite liking my golf at the minute I'm what they call a fair weather golfer so I enjoy playing golf but if the weather ain't nice I ain't gonna play it <laughs> but yeah it is very good today but no I can't do it I need to focus I need to get some more of this content done and I'll just go later on instead. I'll wait till the missus gets home. She can put the kids to bed. And then I'll just go play later. Can I? I'm sure she'd appreciate that. After she's been at work all day. And I've had the day off. Yep. That would. Uh, that would go down really well. I'm sure. Good, there we go, job well done. There are a few areas of this field that the tractor really struggles to get to just because of how uneven it is. And this bit down here is one of them. So I just wonder if I, if I approach it from a different angle, I might still be able to get a little bit of seed in the ground. I don't know. Yeah, this bit here, that is quite a big drop, you know, and I didn't realize just how big the drop was. I mean, the tractor's struggling to do it without skidding up to be honest so I've got to be careful here I don't want to just pointlessly put seed in the ground which I'm then skidding up and destroying before it's even had a chance to grow so I'll have to I don't know maybe we just take that bit as a hit and we don't plant it but what I do need to do is maximize the rest of it like all these little bits which are kind of dotted around that I've missed Mostly through bad driving, but some of it wasn't my fault. But <laughs> let's try and uh, maximise them. We need as much as we can get, don't we? Right, if I approach this bit from this angle, slowly, so I don't skid. Oh, Which is easier said than done. But I'm hoping, if maybe if I approach it from this angle, I might just get some seed in the ground. Or, we may not even get up the hill one or the other, yeah, 
we're not even going to get up the hill. Bit of a run up? No. Right, I've got to be careful because I am just wasting money now. Oh dear. Well that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? We did manage to get a bit more down. That is a pain, that little bump there. I could maybe be cheeky and level that out at some point when we have the money. We got most of it. We got most of it. Good. Okay, right. So just the last few bits to get them. Which is ideal. A little bit here in the middle somewhere. And then there's just a tiny bit around the tree which I didn't get. And then we're good. That That's our first arable field. And you know, it's just so... So satisfying, such a good feeling when you've actually ploughed the field, created the field. Like this field didn't even exist. It wasn't this wasn't even a field on the map until I bought it. And then I've I've done all of this work. So it's it's a good feeling. It is a good feeling. Now let's just pull out on the outside, hopefully, without skidding around too much. And I'll just uh, admire my work. I did alright there, I think. Did alright there, I think. Oh, these little bits here might have just been me slipping the wheels. Just trying to get out the field. But there's a little bit of stone. Not too much, though. Part of me wonders whether or not I should do some rolling. It's not something I do very often, to be honest. But all of these look small. They all look like small stones. So I would certainly be able to roll them back into the ground. And it gives you that small bonus, doesn't it? I think, I think Northern Family Farms told me... 2% maybe but it is it is worth doing now how does this area look here so actually I've got the majority of it you can see just how badly I've skidded around to do it but there are some sections I missed can't do anything about that but at, overall not a bad job I don't think not a bad job the uh, pH value is suddenly shown bad at the bottom though which is a bit annoying normally when you uh, when you plough direct from grass, most of the stats look pretty good. But they're showing this green here. Maybe Oak just wants a, a higher pH level. Yeah. So I'm not too sure why these little spots are showing as, as orange. You know, they, they need more nitrogen in those spots. Maybe that's just where I've, I've had lots of wheel slip. Maybe it's damaged the ground a bit, but surely the nitrogen will still be there. Anyway. Good. I'm quite happy with that. How much did we actually use? 340 litres. Yeah, the fuel light's on, by the way. In fact, it's it's completely flashing at me now. But that's alright. So, it's a decent amount left over. Oh, come on. Get out of my way. Go back to the store. Pick up the rest of the bag in this cedar, I think. And then we'll drop that back at the yard. And just have a little consideration of, of what to do. Oh. This map does have those <laughs> those weird little collisions all over the place. I don't know why that is. I think there is a there was a map update due actually, but now it isn't due. So I feel I might have updated the map, which might explain why I lost some of that save game data. And I lost things like the, the silage bales and stuff. They just weren't there when I came back on. So that might explain it, but if I did do an update, you would assume they would have updated these invisible collisions all over the map. Anyway, there we go. That's that topped up. 590 liters left over. Now it is flashing at us. So while we're here, let's get some slightly cheaper red diesel. I don't know how much. To be fair, I've not put much in this for a while, have I? Let's see how much it needs. Is this cheaper than the fuel station? I don't know. Be interesting to know if it was. Though that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? How's it looking? If this tractor, I don't know if it demotes itself is the right word, but if this ends up being the full time kind of lower farmyard, orchard, vineyard tractor, we probably want to fill it up really because, yeah, <laughs> at 19 miles per hour, it's quite a trip back to the fuel station. So let's just leave it go while we got the cash. Wait until the uh, the old ticker stops. There we go. Good timing. 
pounds worth of diesel. But that's good. It needed it. Good. God, it feels like good fuel as well. It's going fast now all of a sudden. Right, we'll head back to the yard and we'll just have a, a little reconsider. I do want to plant the bottom field. I don't know if it's the right time to plant potatoes. I'm pretty sure actually it is. But we need a different seeder or a different planter for that anyway. So for now, for here and now, we definitely don't need this. Oh, actually we do. I feel like it's almost cheating a little bit. But then I can't really help that that seed add-on mod isn't really working. Uh, I'm sure... One of my usuals, Bendicat, probably knows how I can make this cedar work with that add-on. Or Northern Family Farms or Slough. I'm, I'm sure maybe there is a way to make this cedar work with that mod. But in the meantime, I guess I'm just going to have to go with limitations of the game. I do need to get this grass. These small, small areas of grass topped up in this yard. So this is where we're going to go. In fact, I could probably even leave the cedar in this yard, to be honest. If there's some shed space spare. We'll leave it there. Unintentional rhyme. Right. Let's get into here. Yeah, there's quite a few areas that need it. The grass doesn't look like it's actually started to grow yet anyway. Yeah. So now is probably the right time to catch it. Now, I've set it to grass. Let's lower this down. Lower it down? Come on. Why is it not lowering down? There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it will just seed where we're missing. <laughs> it's also seeding where we're sk skidding and damaging it anyway, but that's fine. So is that actually working? That's my that's my concern, I guess. Is there a difference in texture? Once I go over a bit that's covered in weeds, I'll know if it's working when I, because in theory it should take out the weeds. Which it didn't seem to do then. Um, okay. Oh, I've got to be really careful on the uh, accelerator on this. I've got to be really careful. Let's try not to damage too much more. I don't know if this is working, you know. I don't know. Is it working or is it making it worse? <laughs> Probably making it worse. I don't really notice an obvious change to the colour. Must be working. I don't know if it went over that weed then, or whether or not it was me running over the weed. I'm watching the seed figure, so I'm kind of probably quietly concentrating here. Watching the seed figure in the bottom corner, and it has just dropped a little bit, so it must be doing something. Must be. It's going to be difficult to know if I'm actually getting all of it though, because I damaged so much of this field. I bet there's going to be bits that I've missed. Right, lift it up. Yeah, it's definitely going down. Right, let's try and uh, keep an eye on this figure whilst we go over the main bit like I damaged. This should drop a couple of litres of seed, surely. It dropped one liter. Is that a good thing? Actually, from here, I think now I can see a very slight color difference. Yeah. Yeah, the outer edge, which I already done, is definitely a little bit lighter than the inner part. So this is working. That's good. I think the cedar needs to live here, though, because this is just going to happen every time, isn't it? Definitely. I'm just going to damage this field every time I do any harvesting in it. Good. Well, at least that works. Yeah, I think.
think we're pretty much there now. Get this last little bit. And we should be, yeah, we should be good to go, I reckon. There is landscaping we need to get on with. There is quite a bit. This area here needs to be fixed. Yeah, I can't even get up it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, we have got to do some fixing around here. Definitely. Now, not really enough room to put anything away, is there? Let's squeeze it in front of that manure spike. Which does need to go to the other yard, actually. Oh dear, damaging our equipment. This view any? No. <laughs> this view is certainly not any easier. Uh, at least we're going in there. Right, just enough. Oh, there we go. Just about under shelter. Yeah, I could probably go back a bit more, actually. Right, here we go. Unconnect, disconnect everything. There we go. Take that off. Good. Right, I do want the manure fork in the other yard, but also I need to take this log fork down to the bottom, don't I? Let's dump the log fork down here for a minute. I don't know if I have to... Oh, okay, disconnect the hoses. Good, that's that gone. Connect this up while I remember. Lovely. Okay. Right, shut off the engine a minute, save some fuel. Let's have a look. What am I going to do? Can I plant potatoes? Yep, so it is the right time to be planting the potatoes. They're harvestable quite quickly as well, actually, aren't they? Right, what else do I do in this episode? How long do we reckon we've been so far? Probably been, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe? I would have put a little bit of a time lapse in this episode, wouldn't I? Has anything new appeared in the shop? Not of interest. Weight's always handy, but no. Okay. Good. It's been quite successful, you know, this episode. It's nice to see that this has definitely worked to a certain extent. I've not got all of it, as you can tell, but I've got the majority of it. Yeah, hopefully it'll start growing soon as well. Why does it take us so long to grow? Right, I think, anyway, um, I'm guessing now, 25, maybe 30 minutes of episode. This is probably going to be a little bit shorter, actually. But, I do want to get into some landscaping. Yeah, this area here, and then I just, I need to sort the yard out. We've only got four grand, so that's good in a way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to limit me from getting carried away. So let's just jump into landscaping mode. Can't spend any more than what I haven't got. So here, let's do this. I'm just going to smooth this out. Do you know, it's been so long since I've done landscaping, I'm, I'm always forgetting how to do it. Right, I won't forget how to do it. That was a lie. I love it too much. Good. Right, that should be a bit of a lower, smoother entrance way now. It does look like it. Right, so let's get into painting. We'll go with something as rustic as possible. Okay. How is this going to look? Like that. Let's do a little bit of grass just to fill in these areas here. Good. Right, do that like that. Nice. Right, while I'm here and I've done that, let's just have a look. Is this a bit smoother now? It's a bit smoother. It's not perfect, but it's better. Yeah, cool. I quite think, I quite like the idea of this is going to be kind of a secondary yard that actually will, will transform this section here kind of along this line right up to the roadside and maybe put another shed in I would quite like to get a workshop just so that we have the ability to change 
change the things that we've already bought, I guess. Not use it to, to repair or do anything like that, but just use it to change your tyre types and things like that. That would be pretty good. Right, this is the main bit though. So, let's jump into here and let's head over to our yard. Yeah, it, it's just it's just unfinished. I just, yeah, I need to do something about this. I need to finish this section off. It's far too smooth and flat and boring, isn't it? So, let's go straight in. Um, and we'll just put some grass down, first of all. Certainly around the edges. And then I'll fill the inner part in with a load of bushes, I reckon. Yeah, this will work. Just randomly put those in. The money's going down fast. See how much money I've just spent on grass. That's all I've done. It's just a little bit of grass. It's crazy, really. And there you go. It's all about the looks, isn't it? Good. Right, that's enough kind of randomly dotted around. And then we'll go for some nice bushes. would be so much better if this was free, wouldn't it? Didn't have to pay for it. Okay, right, improvement. That is looking a bit better. Actually, I did want to put a little pathway in here. Just kind of going down here. Because I seem to kind of walk there every episode. So let's make it look like something. There we go. And yeah, I mean, that just looks better already, doesn't it? I, I think so, anyway. Plants, let's go slightly bigger bushes. Yeah, look at those. Those cows are quite noisy in there. Right, good. Let's not get too carried away. There we go. That is better, at least. That is something. Right, good. That will do. It will look better from the ground, I'm sure. Let's uh, go for a little jog. We'll go up there, have a quick look. And then I'm probably, yeah, close to, close to ending the episode, I guess. I think this will actually be a bit shorter. It's difficult to guess how long it's going to be when I've time-lapsed a little chunk of it. But it's been a good episode nonetheless, hasn't it? Not really made much money. We're just kind of planning for the future in this yeah it, it just it just for me just feels better just feels better a little bit more realistic yeah that looks better driving down here certainly looks far more realistic now good right so well the next episode I guess how did I end up doing that the next episode is gonna be the first part of April so we're going to have bills coming out now if I've calculated them properly and I kind of remembered as I was wasting money on landscaping they are £1,800 now that's what the bills are so yeah hopefully we won't be starting in a minus but we do have apples we can sell we've got grapes we can sell I didn't even drive down there in this episode I reckon that well there's at least there's at least two pallets of grapes for each vineyard so there's four pallets of grapes there must be two pallets of olives as well maybe even more I don't know but that that's gonna give us a real good boost and yeah I mean all of these things that we're planting and getting ready now we're gonna have a busy month come August September time it's gonna be uh, a pretty busy little series by that time that's for sure and hopefully by then I've got this new truck. That, that's the next focus. That's the main focus is getting the truck. And then of course planting some potatoes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It probably is again, I'm guessing. But this is probably less than a 40 minute episode. Uh, but 
at least it's content and at least I'm managing to get some stuff back out a little bit more consistently now anyway. So thank you for watching. This was episode 50. Our first arable field was planted after 50 episodes. <laughs> it just sounds shocking. It makes me sound like I'm rubbish at the game. But anyway, I hope you're enjoying it because I enjoy it. This kind of series, I think it's brilliant. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until the next one, cheers and gone.